everybody, welcome back. This is part two of our cheesy chicken spaghetti or spaghettini in my case. Um, the, I'm using a PC uh, made pasta made with 100% drum with semolina. Um, this is the only pasta that doesn't give me stomach issues I've found. Um, so that's all I buy. Um, I'm going to now, so it's been a couple of hours, our chicken, our peppers, our soup, our cumin, garlic powder, salt, pepper, everything in here in crock pot. I'm now going to take out my two chicken breasts that I put in there earlier, mine the steam. Um, yeah, my crock pot really is a hot, my slow cooker is a fast cooker, I say, because seriously, it cooks really fast. Um, all I'm going to do now is take two forks and pull this chicken apart. Just like so. And in the meantime, um, I just cooked on the stove um, some of that pasta. I only cooked it for about five minutes because um, I didn't want it to be too soft. I kind of like my pasta al dente, as they say. And it has to go back in for a couple of minutes. Um, so, yeah. Five minutes is plenty, in my opinion. So... That might not be cooked enough for you, I don't know. So whatever way you like your pasta, just cook it a little less and uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. Um, you just wanna make sure you got your chicken pulled apart, um, but not shredded too much because you wanna see like, you know, a little chicken in there. Um, some of it will break up after. Um, and where it's just two, um, you know, you want everybody to have some, but you know, chunky but not too chunky. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm actually pretty good here. Um, you can always break it up a little bit more once it goes in the slow cooker. So basically, oops. pull apart your chicken just like so. Going to take that then and you're going to put it right back in the slow cooker. Here. You can see I'm all steamy hot and everything. Now, to that, I'm going to add my cooked noodles. Um, I, again, only cooked them for five minutes. I left a tiny bit of water in here because the pasta water actually helps thicken up the sauce. Uh, not a whole lot now, but, you know, just a tiny bit. And I used, I don't know if I just said that or not, but about three quarters of the pack. all in there. I'm just going to um, give that a little mix around. I put my fork is good enough. Just to kind of coat the pasta with the sauce and the peppers and everything that's in here. And now what I have to do is add the other two cups of cheese. So it was three cups of sharp cheese in total. That's going to go right in there. Hold on. Thumb stuck to the bottom. And now, this is optional. You can add some chili, red chili flakes, pepper flakes, if you want. If you want spicy, um, you know, you don't have to add these. It's totally optional. Um, you can add as little or as much as you want. I'm just taking two two little tiny pinches like so and that's going to go in there and the other thing you can do is add a couple of splashes of chicken stock i just um i didn't leave, i didn't leave it out i just mixed up a couple uh, a little tiny bit of the uh, epicure chicken stock with some boiling water and you just need a couple of splashes literally so i'm gonna go splash splash like that like you won't need all of this and then I'm going to give it another stir now. Maybe I could move it over closer. <laughs> I almost had a big blooper that time. Um, yeah, so you just kind of want to push it around now so everything gets coated. The cheese and the chicken and the peppers. And... Uh, and now what you would do here now is taste it and add 
add extra salt or extra peppers, um, which I will do for you actually. Super, super hot. I'm just waiting for some more of the, uh, sorry, some more of the cheese to melt. I think the steam is going up in my throat. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to plate up a little tiny bit, just so you can have a little look. Now, it does call for you to put the lid back on and leave it for another few minutes. Um, but what I'm going to do here now is just take a little tiny bit up so you can see how it looks and, um, and have a little taste for myself. And keep in mind that this is going to uh, thicken up another little bit again on top. I'm not going to take out a whole lot because I don't want to ruin my supper. Um, yeah, I'm going to push this out of my way and try to do it without a blooper. It's a very heavy charcuterie board I have underneath here. Um, I didn't want to burn my table. So, um, yeah, you can see here you can get the chicken, you get some peppers, you got some onions. Um, yeah, we'll have a taste here now and see. I try not to <laughs> burn my mouth. Um, I would blow on it, but uh, I heard through the years that somebody once told someone that when you blow on your food to cool it down, you're blowing the goodness out of your food. I don't know if it's true or not. I just don't want to chance it. So um, here we go. I hope I don't burn my lips on camera. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. You can taste the cumin, you can taste the garlic powder, you can taste the peppers, chicken, cheese, everything. It's seriously mm, super delicious. So I'm going to let you go here now and I'm going to finish eating this. Um, I will absolutely put the video uh, parts one and two together if I can. I'll try my best. Um, and then put the recipe up there so you can share it with your friends and family and bring it to your next potluck. You won't be sorry. You can serve it with some bread or salad or nothing at all. Okay, hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye.